Hi, Ken Heron here on a somewhat cool evening here in West Tennessee, about to fly at the airport. As many of you already know, I've been approved by the FAA for a daytime waiver under FAA CFR Part 10729. And so I decided to come out here to Carroll County Airport, which is a Class G untowered airport to flex my drone superpowers for the very first time. So all I'm gonna do is go up and show you these beautiful blue runway lights just because I can. And then just for fun, I will play with my two watt laser. Oh, I scared those birds away. Did you hear that? Um, I'm not gonna interfere with any aircraft, of course. And I'm not gonna shine this directly into any lens because it would burn it right up. But it's pretty darn powerful, as you can see. I know I could have made my first nighttime drone video a beautiful cityscape at night or something, but I'm in West Tennessee. Uh, there's nothing out here except this. So uh, I'll have a video later on, probably in a couple weeks, showing you exactly how I went about the process of applying for the waiver. But right now, let's get the bird in the air. Now, of course, if you're gonna fly at night, hobbyist or part 107 holder, you're going to need a strobe that is visible for three statute miles. Mine is from Loom Cube. And there's a link in the description. Oh, man, that's bright. Take off. So here it is. Carroll County Airport runway lights. I keep hearing what I think is an airplane coming in, but it's just these diesel trucks that are next to the highway. Even though I didn't have to, I made a flight plan through Lance and I limited myself to 200 feet. So I'm gonna go over here to where it would be the approach for an incoming plane to give you an idea of what it would look like if you were piloting a plane at night. Some smaller airports like this have runways that um, will have the lights off until a plane is coming in just to save energy. There you go. There's your approach vector. Well, you can really see that strobe. I'm gonna turn off the light and let you see it. You see it? That's 400 feet away. And I don't have the camera zoom on. I'll zoom in a little bit. You see it? It's having a hard time auto-focusing, but there it is. There we are, very good. Now I'm gonna switch the battery and have some laser fun. There's a water tower over there that the airport uses as a beacon. And it's got a light on it that spins around. And as long as I've lived here, I've always wanted to drone it, but haven't had the legal opportunity to do so until now. Bet it would look good from above. I'm gonna get directly over it here. Oh, that's cool. Let's see if I can match its speed. Now I'm going to get on the other side of it, and that is 
about 2300 feet away from my position right now. Now all I need to do is aim the laser towards the tower and I uh, shouldn't hit my precious drone because that really can destroy it. This thing will burn a hole through a metal beer can. Two watts. Let's see. Am I close? Oh, yep. Yeah, you can see where I am now. <laughs> That's how far away I am right now. Lager! All right, gotta head back. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Again, there will be a video in the coming weeks of how I went through the process of obtaining the daytime waiver. All right, there is a link in the description for the strobe. Until next time, buh and bye. <laughs> Let's give him a hot foot. Just, just one of his little feeties. Let's see here, just a little foot. Oh, hot foot, hot foot. Oh, hot foot, hot foot. Oh, oh, hot foot, that's hot. Oh, that's hot too. Oh, hot. Oh, hot. <laughs>